Hey guys, it's me, Steve. Today, I wanted to talk to you about a new beer fad, marshmallow IPAs. That's right. Brewers are now adding marshmallows to their hazy IPAs. This just made national news, in fact, a brewery out of Norfolk, Virginia, called Smart Mouth, announced that it was gonna release a beer called Saturday Morning. These included both toasted marshmallows as well as the dehydrated little ones that you find in your Saturday morning breakfast cereal, Lucky Charms. So, marshmallow IPA? At first glance, it doesn't seem like these two things would go together at all. But if you think about it, really, IPAs have been moving away from the hot bombs and more toward juicier, less bitter versions of the IPA. There's even a whole line of milkshake IPAs that add sugar and fruit, chocolate, vanilla, stuff like that uh, to give the beer more of a dessert quality. So I guess it isn't such a stretch that brewers would tap our puffy, chewy, sugary little friend, the marshmallow, to sweeten their IPAs. So what do I think? Well, personally, I like the marshmallow. In fact, when I was a young boy, my cousin and I ate every single marshmallow out of a box of Lucky Charms. And more recently, on an adult vacation, I had an artisanal, coconut-encrusted, handmade marshmallow, and it was delicious. And you guys know me. I'm a try-it-before-you-judge-it type of fellow. So, let's see what this hullabaloo is all about, shall we? I picked up a can of Malo Gold. It's from Fieldwork Brewing Company. Uh, Fieldwork has locations uh, throughout the Bay Area. Not in San Francisco though, lame. But they're one of the best brewers around. And if I'm going to try this unique style of beer, I know that I'm gonna get a very good offering from Fieldwork. All right, let's do it. So they say, Malo Gold is what you get when you merge five pounds per barrel of marshmallows alongside five pounds per barrel of Citra hops. All right, let's try it. First sips, I enjoy it. Not quite like a um, bowl of Lucky Charms, but um, more of just a hint of sweetness to balance out the Citra Hop. I definitely wanted to um, have a full one of these to, so I can give you the, 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 full, the full review. You know, my fear was that you just have a taste of this and it tastes good and you enjoy the flavor and you enjoy the sweetness of the marshmallow. But if you drink a full one, you're sick of it by the end. That didn't happen here. I liked the end of it just as much as I did in the beginning. Um, this particular version from Fieldwork, the Milo Gold, is very hot forward and the sweetness really balances that out. I think it's a great, delicious beer. And if you have the opportunity, you should try to have some. So what's my take on marshmallow IPAs in general? I say cheers. If I saw this at a brewery or at a tap house, I would definitely order one. I'm sure I would enjoy it. Would I order two? Probably not. This is a novelty beer. Novelty beers are meant to be fun. They're meant to be unique. But you know what going in is probably just going to be a one-off. Take Saturday morning from Smart Mouth. They tapped into this kind of millennial nostalgia with its name, its recipe, and its branding. And they also created somewhat of a hipster demand with a limited release. Once this thing made national headlines, it was over. People lined up for hours and bought every single can that they had. Now I know this whole marshmallow IPA thing has definitely ruffled some feathers of the craft beer traditionalists. 
They don't like the beer hype machine, and they don't like the constant effort to create more and more outrageous types of beer, always trying to one-up each other, and I get that. But I also think beer should be fun, and I also think beer should be inclusive. And if it takes a marshmallow IPA for someone to come in from a different background and get excited about craft beer, then I'm all for that. So go right ahead, my hipster millennial friend. Cue up an episode of the reboot of DuckTales, crack open a marshmallow IPA, and enjoy your own adult version of Saturday morning.